Hello everyone, here is a quick overview of the newest update to the EMA Scalper. Uh, now we change it to MA Scalper. Basically, uh, so it's not just EMA that you can use any MA settings for it. So here is uh, the previous update that we were going to put out, but we decided to add one more feature to it before we put it out, but this is how it worked. So, in this, we uh, allow, uh, we added triple MA also on there, so you can uh, use single, double, or triple. And also, you have the method, so you can use simple exponential, whatever one that you want to, uh, whichever one that you want to use, that's fine. And then here are the settings for uh, single MA, double, and triple. This is what we found to be a very good settings, and that's what you see here. So. And also you can have your trading time each session if you want to break it down to sessions but if you want to just have it run you can use this as it is but uh, this is the previous one I'll show you the newest update all right so with that triple uh, uh, MA as you can see when the trend change here you close all the trade that was left so as you can see when it was a buy so here, started here as a sale, and we sell, sell all the way for about a day, and then uh, trend change. So we close all the sales that were uh, still in there, and then it started doing the buy, and we keep buying for a day and a half, and then it turns to a sale. So we're gonna close these out. Uh, so what I saw was uh, if you don't have a good proper uh, money management, uh, when you close some of these trades out, even though you have uh, you made so many trades, you can end up losing a lot of your money, your profit. If you uh, do the way that I do. So the way that I trade is uh, I use Martin Gill here. So this allowed me to... Uh, take uh, the next trade if a trade goes against me so here um, all these buys are clear so I do a buy clear this one didn't go through they hit TP so it went down it goes against me um, and I set it to if it goes against me 20 pips take another trade and then it took another it goes against me I take another it goes against me I take another and then the trend change and it could not clear so uh, I end up in in a loss and then I start doing the sale so here uh, depending on the number of trades that it takes and the number of pips that it is it can eat up a lot of profit and you don't have to use this option you can just simply turn it set it to false and it's off so you would take one trade at a time either you hit your TP or your stop loss so this is optional you can uh, take uh, turn it off and then, so that was one of the issue. Uh, that's why I wanted to do another update to it. So, uh, so now as you can see, the change and you keep selling if it's a, and then this triple may allow you to stay. So when there is a like like this here, you can still stay in. And then as you can see, the trend go back down, and the uh, the EMA never changed. So you're still in there. So even though this cross up to be a buy, you're not going to be taking any trade because the conditions uh, have not met. So it wait till all the conditions is met again and it started doing the sell, 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 as you can see right now. So this was the previous version, but it was working fine, but I wanted to make uh, one more uh, change to it. So we went ahead and added uh, this feature. Uh, we call conservative trade. So in this version here, the same. So you can turn it off if you don't want to. And you have your fake TP and SL. So here, if you add uh, SL, let's say I put 100 here. 100. Uh, so it means that my, my stop loss starting off is going to be 20, uh, 200. And then when it uh, if it goes against me 100 pips, then it's gonna increase my stop loss by another uh, 100. But if you want your actual stop loss to hit, 
then you can leave this to a zero so it has an increment if you add a value that means it's going to keep changing your stop loss will never hit uh, so that's that feature here and the maximum number of trades that you want to take if you if it goes against you and you're going to keep uh, taking trades so and if you don't want to do that you can turn this off and it's not going to do anything so if this is on and then that means this part is the lot exponent and then you can set the lot uh, size cap which means uh, that I set it to 20 cents so as I if it's going against me assuming that I'm doing a buy and it keep going against me I'm gonna increment my loss size by 1.2 so uh, it can but if it get to 20 uh, 20 cents I don't want to increase it no more as long as it's still less than 10 trays I'm gonna keep taking trays as it goes against me but my loss size will never go higher than uh, 20 cents and the distance that it goes against me uh, when I'm gonna take the trade is 20 pips so if it goes against me 20 pips I'm gonna again you don't have to use this part these are all optional you can turn this off and then you will enter the trade one at a time uh, the new feature that was added was since we already added the uh, the triple again the triple you can select triple moving average that's that would be the default and that's the setting so if you have a better settings you can change it to it and if you want to change it to simple or whatever type of moving average that's why we changed the name to we call MA scalper instead of just uh, EMA so now you can use any type of uh, uh, moving averages and also this is the added so this is the new feature so you can tell it to start at the beginning of trend so you don't want to be uh, start the trade in the middle when you install the, uh, the EA you don't want it to start somewhere here you want it to start at the beginning of the trend then that would be the feature so you can uh, tell it start at the beginning of the trend and it will be it will wait till the new trend is formed before it will enter into the trade and also as I spoke about Sometimes when you in a trade and you're winning and you're winning and if the trend change sometimes you lose some of the money So the best thing to do is to uh, Save the money that you made so you do this by using uh, the consecutive trade that we have here so which means if you have uh, if you go into a trade Here so I started it here and I did a sale it, it went against me so I took another sale and declare it and then I took another one 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 so here I have one trade that didn't go well uh, and it cleared for me so one two three four five six so zero two five is six trade so that's what you see so as long as even though the trend is going I said I'm only going to take five trades for this trend so now I have secured my profit and whatever happened I'm done with this trend and I'm gonna wait till the, the trend change before I enter when I enter I'm gonna take just five trade so this will help you uh, secure your profit and not stay in as uh, as seen here when the trend change like this here if you're doing a buy 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 uh, you're gonna lose this and uh, based on your uh, money management your loss sizes you could lose a lot on there depending on the pair that you trade so using the consecutive trade allow you to uh, prevent that from happening and then you'll be able to secure uh, the profit that you already made so this is the new update and it has this on there you can start with the beginning of the trend or you can jump in if it's false that means when you install it wherever the trend is going it will just start trading that direction but if you set it to true then it's not going to trade until the new trend start and also this means consecutive trades means how many trades you want to take for that particular direction uh, of that trend so regardless if this trend goes on for days weeks i'm done i'm not going to be in there uh, i take this number so you can set any number you want uh, by studying it and always run on the demo to see how it will work for you before you go live uh, so 
Here's an example. This is a bunch of trade of a 50 or more. So you can set how many consecutive trades that you want to take. And then once it's done, you'll be out of trade before going back. And, and the trend is continuing. So, uh, but this is a way to secure profit. Again, here's a update for uh, the MA scalper, formerly known as the EMA scalper. Thank you.